Love, Father, is a connection that we make. It is being there for people. It is loving them with all your heart and soul. Love is accepting the person for everything they are. It is loving them in their imperfections, helping the other become a better version of themselves. I watched Rebecca grow over the years from a shy freshman until this amazing, beautiful, strong woman before us. Our pride and joy, our sweet baby girl has grown up and now married to a generous, loving young man by the name of Keske. Mario, I know, is very proud, contented and happy that our baby girl has found her true love. You are truly one of the most genuine, kind, and sweetest people on this earth. And I think everybody here in this room knows that because you have touched them all. So I could not be happier knowing that my baby sister is going to be well cared for and is happy and loved by you. I've cooked with Suki for years, and he's honestly purely one of the best people I've ever met in my life. He is the kindest soul, and it's amazing to be around him. And I was so proud when he invited me to be one of his groomsmen. But today is beautiful because today we celebrate love. And we celebrate the adventure that is love. Because love is an adventure. There's learning and growing and ups and downs. And through it all, there's love. Kevin. Hi, Kevin. Take you, Rebecca. Take you, Rebecca. To be my wife. To be my wife. I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. And in bad. In sickness. And in sickness. And in health. 
and in health. I will love you. I will love you and honor you. And honor you all the days. All the days of my life. Of my life. Amen. Amen. <laughs> okay, I Rebecca. I Rebecca. Take you, Kevin. Take you, Kevin. To be my husband. To be my husband. I, I promise. I promise. To be true to you. To be true to you. In good times. In good times. And in bad. <laughs> and in bad. In sickness. In sickness. And in health. And in health. I will love you. I will love you <laughs> and honor you all the days, all the days of, my of my life. Rebecca, <laughs> take this ring. Take this ring as a sign of my love. As a sign of my love and fidelity. Infidelity. In the name of the Father. In the name of the Father and of the Son. And the Son. And of the Holy Spirit. And of the Holy Spirit. Amen. Amen. You may kiss your bride. There are no words that can ever match the love that you two have shown. The only way to describe it is magic. You can't see it. You don't know what it is, but you know it's there. And that's what you two have. It's love. It's magic. I've watched you grow and mature over the years, and I think more mature than I'd imagined. That became painfully obvious a few months ago when Dad passed. Your strength during that time was just so telling of how just how much you've grown, and I'm so proud that you and Merlene stepped up like that. I'm so thankful that you guys were there. Keisuke, your kindness is number one. I am so proud of you. I pray that you will be blessed with everlasting happiness from father and mother. You are the perfect balance to Rebecca. You are the sweetest guy that I ever met. It's very rare to come across a person like you in this world nowadays. Your patience and understanding exactly what Rebecca needs. I love watching you both together, not in the creepy way. <sighs> but it warms my heart when I see you being silly together and goofing off. Your love adventure is just beginning, and I want to remind you both to keep on supporting each other, being there for each other, leaning on each other, choosing each other, and being silly together. So let's raise a glass in honor of our beloved couple.